Hi, welcome to the PCCL channel, it's okay? A video to remember what is gaseous state and the possible relationship between the pressure and the volume of a gas in a container, and here it will be a syringe. I chose a very accessible gas. It contains about 8 molecules of nitrogen for 2 of oxygen. There is some inside and outside of the syringe. This syringe is not empty, this syringe is full of air. When I say full there are still a lot of spaces between molecules. The model that is presented here tells us that the molecules are not stuck, are not piled up like in the liquid state or in the solid state. They move at very very high speed, collide and especially they hit the walls of the container, and the walls, here, of the piston. So normally, if there was nothing to counteract the effect of these shocks, the piston should come out. Except that there is air outside too. Here is the air outside acting on the same piston here. That's why it's in equilibrium. If I move the piston away from its equilibrium position, the volume increases and the molecules inside move further apart. Their number has not changed okay? If I do the reverse, I decrease the volume by compressing the gas, the matter quantity inside the syringe is the same but the molecules bring closer together. There are more shocks. The shocks are more frequent on the walls of the piston, so that if I let go of the piston, because there I hold it, the system will seek balance. The internal and external pressures will equalize. Therefore, the piston stops. We can notice, above, that there we are at 1013 hectopascals, say about 1000 hectopascals. If I go to 25, here, instead of 50 milliliters, I have a pressure in hectopascals which is double. So when the volume decreases by half, the pressure increases by double. When one is divided by two, the other is multiplied by two. They are said to be inversely proportional. It is their product that remains constant. Well, we could answer the questions, since there are sentences to be completed. You play? Without intervention by the experimenter. The piston stops when the pressure inside is. equal to atmospheric pressure. We consider the air in the syringe, when the volume decreases the molecules get closer together. So the number of shocks on the left wall of the piston increases and the pressure in the syringe becomes higher than atmospheric pressure. If the volume is divided by 2 the pressure is multiplied by. Two. During the transformation, the product P times V is constant. And we can write P1 V1 equals P2 V2. This law is called Boyle's Law. That's it for this video. Thank you.